Hello antique fans and welcome to my antique channel. This is Deanna speaking from Vintage Touch Antiques. Today I have a new arrivals video for you showing the things that I have ready to deliver to my Vintage Touch Antique booth on February 18th, 2017. Some of these things that you might recognize because I did show them in a recent video of uh, things that I hauled from one of my antique haul videos. Some of the things you may not have seen before. But you will see them today regardless and they are cleaned up and priced and ready to show. So let's just get right into it and let me show these off. Okay, this is a piece that was part of my antique haul and this is a cloth salt bag. It's a hundred pound size salt bag and it's a Chippewa granulated salt bag from Ohio Salt Company, Wattsworth, Ohio with the Indian motif there on the front. And that is a long bag. Underneath of that, I'll put that behind there, underneath of that I have this um, painted red bucket. Now this piece was in my garden center last year. It did not sell and so I have this piece reduced right now to $29. And that'll be a great buy for someone. It's a nice early large size bucket. Incidentally the Chippewa salt bag is $30. Sometimes I miss the price so I'm sorry please. I hope I get them all. Here on my um, ironstone platter, and I did show these in my recent haul video as well, are the cuticle scissors, the celluloid handled ones, and they are $6. Um, the ironstone platter measures 8.5 by 12.5, and, and it's for $8. And these guys, with their metal feet, chickens, and one duck, are nine dollars each. Behind here, now I did show you the frame but it did not have a picture in it and now it does and you can see just how beautiful it is with the rhinestone decoration. It has its own easel in the back so it stands up. Holds about a five, I think a five by six and a half picture, that's what I measured. And that piece, incidentally, let me get the price here, is $18. Okay, I'm going to have to set some things out of the way so I can move things around. This is another piece that was shown in my haul video, and this is a match holder. It's uh, designed to hang on the wall, and it's got that wonderful star. Uh, embossed star pattern there. That's a very early piece and that one is priced at $15. Oops, sorry. I have a lot of wash day and cleaning things up there right now in my booth because I've got a wash day display and this is an Empire scrub brush, one that has the wood top, old one, a lot of people use these for various things. I've seen them use these as something sticks things down here and use it like as a as a like a holder for it. Uh, this one is priced at six dollars. Now this piece I showed it off also in my haul video, but what I didn't know at the time is it is a Cumberland Valley Railroad piece, and as you I'm hoping you can pick up those letters. Oops, let me do it this way so it's not upside down. I'm hoping you can see that and it's also got the got the same initials there, CVRR in the little short handle and it's a dipper as you can see. It's very unusual and I have that one priced at $15. Now I also showed this piece in my haul video and this is an early wide mouth atlas jar. It's the aqua blue 
with the straight lines. And I've got another jar here I'm taking up that's just a ball jar, just a, a very pale aqua ball jar. But I, I'm, it's $5 and the Atlas is $17. But I put them there side by side so you can see the difference in those quart jars. Again, I'm going to have to set some things out of the way. And another piece that was shown in my haul video. I got a lot of things ready, so I'm happy about that. This is a 19th century yellowware batter pitcher. It has that beautiful embossed cobalt decoration there. It's that raised decoration, and I have that. It's it measures five and a quarter inches tall, and I have it priced at twenty-five dollars. And then in the back there, now you saw this picture in, also in my haul video, but it was in a different frame. I bought that pic piece uh, because I liked the frame, so that I plan to use it for something else. And as it turned out, when I took this print out. This is an early print from 1937, and it's a Bohemian Girl is the name of it. But it was an original, I mean, the original artwork was from the 1600s by Franz Halls, and it was called Gypsy Girl then. But I put it in a different frame. I thought it looks much better in this frame. And I have that piece priced at just $25. I'm passing that bargain on to you. Here's a wood top with the metal pointed in there, priced at $9. This is a piece that's going in. It's, it's a wall hanging. I hope that's focusing for you. Sometimes when you move on this camera, it takes it a little while to get the focus right. But it is a um, candle box, and I've got a couple of candles stuck in there so you can see it will hold those tall tapered candles. And the bottom section, I believe, was probably a little container probably went in there uh, to use for matches. And like I said, it's a wall hanging piece, and very primitive, got a lot of wonderful character wear. And that piece is also priced at $29. I'm taking this piece in. This is a piece that I also showed in my haul video. And this is the butter print that has the double wheat stock motif there. Lovely patina, $35 on that one. Here's a tin muffin tin. It's an eight count. It's the little small type of, of uh, cups there. And that piece is priced at $9. Taking in some advertising pieces. This one is for Family Sab. It's Doc, Dr. Burkhards, it's a Xanol piece, priced at $8. Here's an Old Mansion Spice Tin, priced at $7, with the Early Dispense top there. Again, I mentioned I have a Laundry Day display up there. I've been selling a lot of clothes spins, so I'm taking in in these little bundles. I've been selling them by the bundles at $3.50 each. They have like eight pens, I believe. Yeah, in the bundle. And these have the the uh, flat tops on them, so they're a little different. Still $3.50, a bundle. And this is an Oakite detergent. It's still full of product. That one is priced at $13. And I had one of these signs and I sold it. And now I have one more. This is like one of those plank box side pieces. But it's just wonderful with a laundry soap and stuff. It's a lava soap. It's got the box of soap emblem there on the end. And you can see the advertising there. 
and I have that one priced at, if I can get to it, $13. Now this piece I did show in my haul video, but it didn't have the lid then when I showed it. And it has a slide top lid, and this is William H. Shush, I forget what that was. Well, maybe you can make it out because it's hard to read, but it does say on the front 72 crystal peanut bars, which is what it held, and this box is priced at $20. Then I'm taking in the gray granite, very deep basin. It's got a couple of dings there, which is often the case with granite ware. It's 15 inches uh, diameter. $12 is all that I have on that. Another little piece, this is just an advertising piece, but cute. It could be used for a variety of things, but I like the top that says Mrs. Filbert's Mayonnaise Icebox Jar. Finally, it um, cleared up for me there. And those are the pieces that I'm delivering on the 18th to my Vintage Touch Antique booth that's located in Antique Crossroads, Hagerstown, Maryland. I hope that you can come and visit me there and visit my antique booth. It's a double space booth on the left side of that mall, third row. Just look for the large Vintage Touch sign that hangs in the back of my booth. And also please check the description of my video where you will see links to my web page as well as my online store where I sell a variety of things as well. And um, you may find something there that you just have been searching for because it's all vintage and antique. And also in the description are links to social media sites that I'm on. And finally, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd love to have you to like and share um, what you see. And hit that notification bell so you don't have to miss any of my videos. And hopefully if you like antiques, you will enjoy my channel. And then finally, let me encourage you to enjoy your antique collecting and learn about your antiques. Because when you own an antique, you own a piece of history. So bye-bye till next time.